<laughs> Hello there and welcome to Daniel's Infinite Playlist and welcome to the classic album review section where we basically uh, take a look back on the albums that I've released in the past and today we're going to look at a special album that actually revolutionized uh, popular music um, last year and I'm of course talking about Rosalia's second album El Mal Querer and for those of you who don't know who Rosalia is, well, Rosalia is an um, is a is an artist from Barcelona who has been making waves all around the world, and you know, also uh, critics love her music because she basically modernizes the um, hundred uh, over a hundred year old tradition of uh, flamenco music, and it's really amazing and breathtaking to see an artist so young revolutionize a genre. Anyways, how is it to listen to this album? Well, it's a bit like this. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to show you the CD unboxing now and one of the things that is most breathtaking about this album is the overall presentation you can see that they have actually thought about how this album should be like there's the album cover it's really beautiful and here's the film where it says like all of the songs very beautifully as well and then and then we look at the inside and you see there's this rich booklet that has, I think, all of the concept art for the singles and all of that. Uh, it's really, really great. And you can actually see that there's like a story in itself in each, you know, picture. And it's very, very great. It's exquisitely made. You should see the actual deluxe edition of this album, which is included in like a box and it has like tarot cards. I think you can still buy it, but you know, through private sellers as it's very expensive. It's crazy. And then you see like the the fin over here, uh, which means end. And then you see all the thanks over here. You can actually see that she has thanked not only people that have been actually uh, working on this album, but people that she has actually been inspired by. For example, like um, Almodovar or Kanye West. It's really, really cool. So yeah, there's the physical version if you want to buy it. Anyways, now back to the actual review. How is this album musically? Well, musically, this album is straight up flamenco, but it's not only flamenco. It's flamenco uh, blended with um, different strands of R&B, pop, even some uh, hip hop, I find as well. And you can actually see that the myriad of uh, genres that Rosalia pulls from uh, just makes sense in this whole thing. I mean, flamenco is still the strong core and it's and it's the unifying uh, piece in, in this whole uh, album. And you can basically thank the album's more modern sound because on her last, uh, I mean, on her first album, Los Angeles, is uh, is a much more traditional flamenco album in the classic sense, while this album owes its modernized production to uh, El Guincho, who is, who is one of uh, the best Spanish producers out there. He's produced for Bad Gyal, and it's really, really cool. And so, yeah, it's, uh, it's very much flamenco. And the album is also, um, it has, I think, like four, um, you know, very uh, classic structured uh, pop flamenco songs. But um, it also includes just very experimental and electronic, um, how do you say, uh, electronic songs that almost work like sketches that fill out the album. It's, it's incredible to see an artist work so, um, how do you say, so tightly within the mainstream, but still just making her own, um, how do you say, original and very, very experimental sound. So yeah. How is this album lyrically? Well, lyrically, this album um, actually is a concept album because it takes parts of its uh, themes from an Occitanian novel called uh, Flamenca, which is a novel that's 
uh, written by an anonymous uh, writer like way back uh, I don't remember which time uh, Flamenca was written but it's um, but it's a medieval novel and uh, it basically trails the the marriage of a Romani uh, woman to a rich man who then locks her inside this tower but this woman finds uh, her own strength through um, through her own liberation and that is very much uh, the themes of uh, Rosalia's album. Uh, in fact, every song is named after chapters. So, for example, first song is called uh, Capitulo Uno Malamente, and then it's uh, then it starts. Like uh, every song is like a chapter through this book, and one would think that the um, that the, that's the album's weakness because it actually trails, you know, like this very destructive and toxic relationship but I think that it's both a testament of toxic relationships but it's also a how do you say a liberation and a very powerful album for especially you know for women you know it's a very liberating record and this record is actually uh, Rosalia's graduation from uh, flamenco she says that well, th that's what Rosalia uh, says. So this album feels very much like a, how to say, an energetic and, you know, vibrant uh, work of art that's uh, hers and hers alone. And uh, her voice is also very amazing. It both It's both very silky smooth, but it's also very, very, how to say, commanding and very, very great. Uh, I, I can't still believe that she has such an amazing voice and you have to watch the music videos because the music videos have actually also made uh, her famous because they're very rich in like um, how do you say in 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 the aesthetics and and all the symbols everywhere you have to see them because they tell a lot about the music inside them and uh, oh uh, another thing all the lyrics are in uh, sung in spanish and she actually samples one um, song from um, justin timberlake in the song baghdad which is a highlight of the album and then she also samples arthur russell and that's also amazing and that's i think in the um uh, not the last song but it's called maldicion and it's a very good song as well Anyways, what do I give this album? Well, it's a 10 out of 10. It's a masterpiece of the modern pop era. It shows a, a musician and artist uh, capable of doing so much. And at such a young age, I'm just baffled at how talented this uh, artist is. And I just really love her music. There's something appealing for it that even the most, how do you say, um, conservative uh, pop fans will enjoy because her music opens up so many doors for so many other artists, you know, working in other more global uh, infused genres. And it's really, really amazing to see someone that's basically working on the fringes of uh, pop and uh, popular music to put something so fiercely original and so so amazingly how do you say uh, hers you know the project and, and all of that I, I can't still believe it and I'm so glad that she has gotten so much how do you say uh, so many fans from like outside so it's just very breathtaking to see all of this uh, unfurl and I just hope that she continues to bring uh, great music. She just recently released a video that's called uh, Out Couture and it's a great song. So I recommend you to listen to that one. Anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, artist links, uh, as always, I'm going to put artist links down below. Um, Rosalia is available everywhere. Um, you can buy physical versions, uh, Spotify, iTunes, you name it. And uh, yeah, 
that's it for me and if you like this video then please like and subscribe i'd really appreciate appreciate it as always i'll i'll be back here review reviewing new albums every wednesday and classic albums every saturday um so yeah that's it for me um enjoy music enjoy life people this is